Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to complete operating system security. It is under Introduction to Cybersecurity Path. So in this room I already did the start, start machine and split screen just to show you guys. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to answer these questions, but you should read these on your own to get a better understanding completing this room. So task one is introduction to operating security, system security. And the question says, which of the following is not an operating system? Let me see if I can zoom in, that's better. AIX, Android, Chrome OS, Solaris, and Thunderbird. Now, if you read through this task, on this paragraph, it says there are also operating system intended for servers. Example include MS Windows Server 2022, IBM AIX, and Oracle Solaris. So, in conclusion, you can exclude these four. So the answer might be Thunderbird. Let's see. Nice. Oh. Mistyped it, but it looks like it's correct. All right, task two, common examples of OS security. Now this talks about attacks on weak passwords and the question is which of the following is a strong password in your opinion hint refer to the list of top 20 password so by looking at these four examples you can tell which ones are weak like I love you is all lowercase um, the second one is numbers and lowercase letters and the fourth one is all just lowercase and the third one might be it. it has uppercase and lowercase and numbers and um and you read through this task it says rank 1 to 20 are all just numbers and lowercase and combination of lowercase and numbers so this might be the answer. There you go. All right. So task three is in a practical example of OS security. Now you can go through the example. So the question is based on the top seven password, let's try to find Johnny's password. What is the password for the user Johnny? And it says the password is a combination of letters and digits and is among the top seven. That's a hint. So let's go through the example. Start the attack box and open the terminal. Now it talks about all this Linux command, like who am I? It's root. And we're gonna enter Sammy based on the example. So sh Sammy at my current IP address. Then it's asking for a password, yes. And based on the example, it says dragon. It's talking about a sticky note with two words, Sammy and Dragon. So when you type it, it doesn't show up, but if it's correct, it will look something like, exactly like this example right here. It says, is it work? And we can go through the same example. So just making sure who am I is Sammy. Then LS is just listing all the 
contents in the directory as you can see there's country text draft md two pictures and a password doc now based on the example cat draft md so it's showing up the same thing then in the example it says we learn about two other usernames that can access the attached machine they are johnny and linda now since we're logged in as sammy it says if you are logged in as sammy or any other user you can use sue johnny and manually try one password after the next to see which password works for johnny now the command sue johnny means we're switching to another profile now it's asking for a password now the hint says the password is a combination of letters and digits and is among the top seven so you go back to task two is talking about top seven now it's a combination of numbers and letters and you take a look at it it could be looks like it's abc123 let's try abc123 there you go we just switched to a new profile johnny so the answer is abc123 correct there we go next question once you are logged in as johnny use the command history to check the commands that Johnny has to type. Okay, let's type history. We expect Johnny have mistakenly typed the root password instead of a command. What is the root password? So this is the history of command that Johnny typed. You keep going down. Number eight looks like a password. So we type happy. Well, actually, we already and so let's copy and paste. There you go. It says while logging as Johnny, use the command su root to switch to the root account. Okay, so we're switching to another account. Su root. I was asking for a password, and it's happy. In G. There you go. We switched to root. Now display the contents of flag text in the root directory. What is the content of the file? Hit run to root, then run cat root flag. So what I do is list directory, there's a flag, then cat open up this document. I think this is the answer. There you go, guys. We completed this room. And you can share on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. I will share on LinkedIn. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you find this helpful, please give a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, comment uh, to improve on these uh, rooms. And that's it let's see there you go completed operating system security i already reset the network security for the next video and uh thanks for watching uh currently just a little bit about myself i do not have it experience i am doing this out of my own time and uh, i enjoy learning this stuff currently i have five CompTI certification and they're all active. So thanks for watching guys. See you next time.